Early in the morning, when the sun rises, it's time for prayer. Yazidis pray to the sun because they believe it's the source of all life. For 25 years now, Irma Akinci has lived in Germany, but he keeps coming back to his parents' house at the Iraqi-Turkish border. This is our homeland. It's where we were born. It's our village, our land. We Yazidis are a peaceful faith. We have nothing against other religions, and we don't want to take other people's land or possessions. But when exactly that happens to us, the world just looks on. This is the community house in Akinci's village, Bacin. Built by Yazidis living in Germany, it's meant as a guest house. Weddings are supposed to be celebrated here. Now it's become shelter for Yazidis from northern Iraq, who fled from advancing Islamic State extremists. Anyone who can't find space inside has to sleep on the terrace. Tens of thousands of Yazidis have crossed the border into Turkey, many finding shelter with others of their faith. Irma Akinci, who lives in the German town of Herford, has taken in two families at his summer home. They tell horror stories of their escape. They entered our village at four in the morning. Anyone who didn't get out in time was killed or kidnapped. We escaped at the last minute in a car. But since then, we haven't heard anything from our relatives. The terrorists kidnapped my girlfriends. We Yazidis in Iraq have constantly suffered. First under Saddam, now under this IS militia. We just want to live in peace. I want to go to school like any other young person. This used to be the village of Kivak. Yazidis lived here till the late 1980s, when they were expelled by the Turkish military. Most residents went into exile in Germany, including the Bulut family, which now lives in Mannheim. They returned sometimes to visit. They remember both their tough lives here and the discrimination they experienced as Yazidis in Turkey. This was the kitchen. We washed here too. And here was the living room. As shepherds, we always carried a water bottle. But the shepherds from the next village refused to drink our water because we were Yazidis. The Yazidi community in Germany wants to make the houses inhabitable again and install plumbing and power lines for their fellow believers from Iraq's Sinjar Mountains. We have many relatives in a village in Sinjar. We want first of all that they move to our village. And of course we'd be glad if our village were inhabited again and not deserted. Southeast Turkey is a poor region. For the people here, coping with the influx of refugees has been an overwhelming task. In the town of Idil, 500 have found shelter in an empty apartment building. A tent serves as a collection point for donations of clothing and food. Residents share what little they have, because whether Muslim or Yazidi, they're all ethnic Kurds and speak the same language. Idil's Kurdish mayor says he got no help from the Turkish state. When refugees came from Syria, much was done to help and accommodate them by the Turkish government and international organizations such as the UN. But for these people, there's no official aid. And that makes us wonder, is it because they're Kurds? Or because they're Yazidis? Or both? Yazidis worship the blue peacock as an angel who watches over the world on God's behalf. In their prayers, Irma Akinci and other Yazidis in Germany thank the angel over and over these days. They give thanks for being saved from extermination 
and they pray for others of their faith who came here to Turkey with hopes of starting a new life. <laughs> 